If you've ever owned any sort of hydration bladder, probably a Camelback. I don't own any Camelbacks, so I've got a source here. Uh, if you've ever owned one, you've probably heard this. Right, so this is a, a two litre hydration filled up most of the way up to about there. And obviously the more you drink or the, the less you fill it, the more sloshing you get. Now I don't know how I've never found this out before, but recently I found a great way to get rid of that. So literally turn your hydration upside down. So the air gap is by the access to the drinking port, drinking tube. Just until you get water through like so. And then all the noise you're hearing now is the plastic parts basically rattling around on the hydration bladder. Um, all credit for this goes to Brian over at ITS Tactical. As I say, I've owned like Camelback type bladders for at least a decade. And I've constantly been frustrated trying to stop that goddamn sloshing noise from happening. Finally, I know how to stop it. There's probably loads of you out there who already knew this and you're laughing at me like, ha, how do you not know that, you friggin' idiot? Um, but now I know, and as I say, I saw this over on the ITS YouTube channel. And just in case any of you don't follow that, you should follow it. But in case you don't, I had to share it because it blew my mind. Simplest thing ever. How I've never seen it before, I don't know. <laughs> Brilliant trick. Just had to put the word out there on that one. If you're doing anything where you're carrying hydration on your back, you know, long runs, sort of five mile runs in the summer heat, long hikes, any sort of military application, sporting application where you've got hydration bladder on your back, just take, you know, five seconds to do that before you start doing whatever it is you're doing. Get rid of all that sloshing when you're running, when you're jumping, whatever you're doing, very satisfying. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.